Getting the business stars of tomorrow on the move. Bank of Ireland, sponsoring Junior Dragon's Den. Who is prepared to enter the Dragon's Den? Inside could be the money to turn business dreams into reality. But only the bravest and the best can tame the dragons who guard the prize. Those dragons are five of the country's most wealthy and successful business people. And the budding entrepreneurs who dare to face them in the den need to convince them to invest in their dreams. The dragons all know what it takes to be successful in the fiercely competitive world of business, having built their companies the hard way. Top media and management consultant Gavin Duffy established himself in radio, recruitment and training and brings to the den a reputation as a tough dealmaker. Ramona Nicholas outfoxed the recession with a booming chain of pharmacies and as head of a multi-million euro group of companies, she is both a role model and an advocate for women in business. A major Silicon Valley player, Barry O'Sullivan has run multi-billion dollar technology businesses and enters the den with an unrivaled background in high-tech innovation and investment. Technology pioneer Sean O'Sullivan runs Avego, a world-leading transportation software company headquartered in Cork and operating globally while investing millions in startup businesses. Dividing his time between Atlanta, Donegal and his native Derry, Peter Casey made his name in global executive recruitment. The approach he's bringing to the den is all about investing in people. At a time when new businesses need it most, the Dragons have money to invest. But only in the right idea. Will they find what they're looking for? This is Dragon's Den. Hello and welcome to the second of two special episodes of Dragon's Den, where the Dragons come face to face with the brightest and best young entrepreneurs from around the country. Will they inspire the Dragons with a new generation of products and business ideas? 150 bright 12 to 18 year olds from all across the island entered the competition to bring their ideas into the den. A series of regional heats held by Bank of Ireland culminated last December with the young people behind the top 100 ideas gathering in Dublin for the national finals. With the best 20 winning the chance to pitch their business ideas to the Dragons. The only difference today is that the Den Juniors are not looking for investment. Instead, they're pitching for a 2,000 euro bursary and they only need one Dragon to award it. But the Dragons are still playing by their rules. They'll only back the best ideas from the best people with the best potential. There's no such thing as a gentle Dragon. You can learn more about these Junior self-starters at bankofireland.com forward slash Dragons. Here are our second set of siblings today. Connor is 12, Ronan is 15, and the brothers have come all the way from the Ross's Community School in Dunlow with their handmade pens. And of course, Donegal is Ramona's adopted home. Hi, Dragons. My name's Ronan McGarvey, and I'm from the company Donegal Pens. I'm 15 years of age from Lochaneer in County Donegal. Hi, Dragons. My name's Connor. I'm 12 years old and I'm Ronan's younger brother. Ronan and I, we took an interest in wood turning in 2009. <laughs> Me and Ronan, we bought our first lead together with a little bit of help from mum and dad because the lead was quite dear at the time. It took a while to get our pens to our satisfaction, but by the summer of 2010, we had our pens stocked in two local craft shops in Donegal. Since that summer of 2010, we have moved on quite a bit. We now have 20 shops throughout Ireland stocking the range of Donegal pens. We also have three stores in Germany stocking our range of pens. The timber that we use in the pens most will be sourced from Donegal, from carpenters and sawmills. Recently, we released a new type of pen, which is a stylus pen. It doubles as a normal pen on one side and a stylus on the other for touch applications such as your iPhone, your iPod and the likes. Thank you, Dragons, and we would like to present you with a pen each. Oh, thank you. Straight away, the brothers have brought two things that dragons love to see in the den, confidence and free gifts. But do the pens live up to the pitch? 
How much does this cost? Well, on our website, they range from a price of sixteen ninety five, and they reach a price of thirty four ninety five. So this one here would be how much? That one there would be thirty four ninety five. So I'd certainly pay that for it. Thanks, boys. Look, here in the den, I use uh, one of the world's leading uh, branded pens, right? And uh, your pen beside it just looks, feels and uh, would sell so much better. It's amazing. So how did it come about? Well, in Antrim, we turned our own pens and we really liked the wood turning. And we got the idea from that. that I went on a day's wood turning, learned how to do the pens, and then I taught it Connor. Who's the better at, at which functions uh, in the company, in production or in sales or...? Well, um, really, we take turns at... Um doing different jobs in different parts of the business, but we share them equally to give a good finished product. Now, uh, I was asking that question to both of you, but Connor, it seemed you, you jump in and so you ch tend to uh, be uh, the spokesman for the two, would you say? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> very good. Guys, just how did you get into Germany? That sounds very interesting. Last year, we featured on a French-German TV show. There was Germans over and they were doing a feature on Donegal. Okay. And um, they approached us and they asked us, would we be able to? There was a great outcome from that. And um, we also have three, we have three shops in Germany stocking them too. The brothers clearly grasped the skills of wood turning very quickly. But Barry wants to know whether they have as good a grip on the business side. So let's talk about the numbers in your business. How much have you sold so far? What sort of profit have you made? And then as you look out over the next couple of years, what do you hope to do? Well, so far we've sold 1,750 pounds over the last two years. We've had an income of 23,000 and an expenditure of 15. The reason the expenditure is so high is due to the first year we had to buy all the machinery and parts necessary for the production of the pens. But then we've, over the last two years, we've had a profit of 8,000. So if I was to give you an order now for 200 pens, how long would it take you to deliver it? Probably about... Two weeks. Who, who would I negotiate with the price on this one? Well, big orders like that, we'd take a percentage off the price. What sort of percentage would you take off? Five yeah. to ten percent, six to eight oh. percent. Oh, well, I'm, I'm negotiating here. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get them a good... So would I get 25 percent? I wouldn't know the figures off the top of my head, but as the order gets bigger, we'd take so much percent off. I certainly think this is a play well beyond Donegal. Having said that, I do know that Donegal is an independent republic, certainly as regards state of mind. So whilst <laughs> I would be very tempted to award a bursary here, I, 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 I'm going to pass because I think the Donegal person might be very upset, <laughs> uh, you know, if I was to compete. So well done, but I'm out. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. So boys, you didn't uh, get back and close me on the price, but here's what we'll do. But I will give you an order for 2000 dollars worth of pens and we can argue about how many that gets me later thank you connor and ronan couldn't have written this any better themselves two grand worth of orders and ramona has yet to pounce i like what you're doing uh, i think you need to think about international competition and maybe you could broaden beyond the donegal brand this is not really my area so for that reason i'm out thank you thank you i think the donegal contingent here is going to speak up is that is that true or not that's very true i love these pens with the the stylus built in when i just tested it on my own iphone it works great and it's a very distinctive brand and distinctive pen people will buy this not just in in, in ireland they'll buy it uh, around the world so i think you have something here but i'm out thank you you both are a complete and utter inspiration. Not only have you done your county pride, you've done Ireland pride, and, and well done to you both. On that, obviously, I'm going to give you the award of the 2000. <laughs> well done, guys. Okay, so sir. Legends. Well done, okay, well done, well done. There isn't a dragon on earth who could have stopped Ramona awarding that bursary. $2,000 for 20 pence, that was a lot. <laughs> now, you're going to be negotiating with Ramona, you know that, right? Yeah. <laughs>